Okay, good evening, Batito. Hello. How are we this evening? Hopefully you had a good weekend. There's some cookies for you. All right, let's get to the main one here. <laughs> Just because you can fist, right? All right. I have no idea what I'm in for here. So, like, I literally know nothing about this game. So this ought to be interesting. Um, resume is under construction. All right, that's fair. Um, let's... This is 1920 by 1080. All right. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> I just realized that's that. Okay. Subtitles. There we go. It is on English. I don't care about cloud saving, but sure. Why not? All right. I like how it's got LB and RB. I don't have a controller plugged in, so... Sure. Uh, <laughs> as well as it can be, thanks. Oh, that's good. All right, let's jump in and find out what this is all about, shall we? gonna guess we're in London based on the signage and this yeah oh okay London 1982 <laughs> you're off your rocker Pete you know that Oi, get back here Shit. what do you think just run you idiot bollocks over there come on down here no, oh wait. I can already tell this is a bad idea. Oh, okay. There's a train! Peter! Just don't stop. You alright? Get back here! It's a locked door! Try to keep up. He seems like a goofball. So, I guess we'll play the goofball. <laughs> so this is going to play out like a Telltale game, I'm guessing? It's from Annapurna Interactive. They made Outer Wilds, if you're familiar with that game. I am aware of that game. I know nothing about that one either, though. So. <laughs> but I do know how popular it is. So that, that bodes well. Something like Telltale. Okay. That's definitely the most immediate impression I get. Oh. Okay, I was gonna say, how do they find us? But there hasn't been a lot of paths. Come really. on, this way. See ya. <sighs> Come on. There. Nice work. What? Huh? You're late. Hi. Uh, hi. <laughs> so you were supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. I gave you clear instructions. Ow. Anyway, come on. We can probably still make it if you're quick. Yeah, what are you talking about? Thanks for somebody hey, else. Mate. Hey, mate. Can you get us out of here? What? Are you kidding? Didn't you hear me? 
We don't have time for this. Either you're coming or piss off. But don't expect a refund. This isn't a charity. Guess we're going with him then. Uh, what? <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? That thing's radioactive. Get back. I thought she was supposed to be the voice of reason between the two of them. Never, son! They're over there! So be it. Wait! You're nicked. The other one's through that door! Gotcha! No. I don't believe it. I got an achievement for playing the prologue! Oh my god. Present day. Stranger danger, domestic affairs, paper dolls. I'm assuming we're gonna have to go through all of three, all three of these at the same time. Like, I'm just choosing which to do first. I will have to do all three at some point, right? Diversion, hello! How are you doing this evening? I hope you're doing well. Having a wonderful weekend. I had a pretty good weekend myself. Just take the achievements. It was for completing the prologue. I, come on! <laughs> Tired, had to do yard work today. Yeah, yesterday I did a bunch of running around, and today a lot of house cleaning. It was it was a productive weekend, but um, wasn't the most enthralling. But that's okay. You will do all three, but they don't take long. Okay, well if we're gonna do all three, I guess it doesn't matter which we start with. So, um, quick vote. Which should I start with? <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip of water. Give me a sec, guys. So I honestly did not realize there was going to be like a supernatural element to this. So that's kind of cool. Commuter rage. Oh no. <laughs> what is this going to be? That game Space and Friends was playing last night was trippy but fun. Yeah, it looked like he was playing a game. Um... Like, you find a lot of the games on Itch.io to be that style, uh, which definitely works great for horror. Um, probably would have been a lot more horrifying if he wasn't speedrunning it. <laughs> so, <laughs> probably made it less scary the way he was playing through it. But, uh, yeah, it definitely looked interesting. All right. Let's see somebody rage, I guess. Ding wall tower. Okay. I'm assuming we're still in London. Dad! He was speed running and got a world record twice. <laughs> 
got a world record when he started, and then when he did a, the full run that we were able to see, didn't he beat it by like a half minute or something? Uh, what a great public transportation system London has. Wish we had it here in Texas. <laughs> well, I mean, London's a huge city. Like, doesn't Austin have anything like that? Like, I would assume the bigger cities would. Alright, let's go see what Molly wants. Aw, stuffed unicorn. That's cute. Hey, Dad. Uh, morning. Good morning. Yes, I'm fully aware of the time. Just give me a sec and we'll be out of here. Ready when you are. I did my lunch already, so you don't need to worry about that. And I know you said I couldn't have crust sandwiches, but I put ketchup on it, so it's one of my five today. Oh, and before I forget, you know I asked you to sign my homework diary. Well, you don't need to worry about that anymore. I managed to forge your signature. <laughs> By the way, a friendly reminder, there's nothing in the freezer. Can you go to the shop? Maybe get some of that new mouthwash while you're there. You know, the one with the picture of the dragon on the bottle. It's the best one because oh. it shows all the bits of bad breath in the sink when you spit it out. Dad, can I get an electric toothbrush for my birthday? My friend Dylan has one. He said it's really fun, like going on the car wash, but in your mouth. Maybe we could share it with two different brush heads. You need a new toothbrush anyway. She's shouting. All I do. And it looks as flat as a pancake. Dad, how come I have hair and you don't? <laughs> Am I supposed to shower? Well, no, nope. door's closed. picking um, let's go with this one I guess very spiffy okay let me catch up real quick sorry um, when he ended stream he rated psycho stick a band I like I've never heard of psycho stick Are they mainstream and I'm just out of the loop? Or are they more of an underground band? Lizard! Sneaking in here with a tier one sub. Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? I wouldn't know about Austin. I do live there. I'm from... I don't live there. I'm from Houston. Okay, well, Houston's an even bigger city than Austin, isn't it? Or at least comparable. Is there nothing there? They have like six albums. Oh, they've been around for a bit. Okay. I'll have to look into that then. What kind, what kind of music? Based off the name, I'm going to have to say probably some sort of heavy metal, hard rock, something like that. Good, good. Working on some WoW stuff. Ooh, sounds nice. Did you manage to level to 70? You were like halfway through 69 when I saw you stream last, if I recall. Parody rock metal. <gasps> They're not, are they the ones that did I Can Only Count the Four? I love that song. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay. I still need four hot dogs. Four. <laughs> I like that. Here, we'll pause it so that Molly doesn't get impatient. Wait, that really is them? Oh my god, that's awesome. All right, I am going to look into them more then because I have heard I Can Only Count to Four and that song amuses me greatly, so. Oh, God. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this game at all. It is called Last Stop. Um, and I'm very quickly learning that it's very much like a Telltale game if you're familiar with them. 
Um, very heavily story driven and kind of episodic in nature from the looks of it. Uh, all set. All set. Find that. Right. 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 I'm assuming that's what. Oh. game is so far. Oh, don't tell me you lost your daughter. Okay, I have to go in the elevator. Alright. Oh god, I'm getting flashes of heavy rain all over again. Please tell me she's okay. Just be oh, thank God. In some post for that man, Jack. I like your What's owl. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? Same initials. Well, the same surname and initial. Come on, let's drop it off for him. Okay. So, chicken dippers for dinner? Um... Uh, t t uh, fish. Oh, I don't know. I probably should try and be a bit more healthy. How about white fish on a bed of lentils? Wow, get you, Jamie Oliver. <laughs> oh, we're still going. All right. Um, is it safe? The camera angles are fixed. Okay. I don't know where I'm assuming the big open door is where we're supposed to go, so that's where we're heading. Oh. Hello, Jack. Oh, hey. Uh, here you go. It's been another mix up. Here you go. Ah, oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, cheers. Jack, your clothes look mental. <laughs> oh, no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Can't disagree. They are a bit. They're so tight, doesn't your will get pinched? <laughs> <laughs> Funny kid. Anyway, wow. I have to go. Uh, nice seeing you both. Um. Uh, do you have any posts for us? Yeah, hand it over. Stealing posts is a crime. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I do. There you go. Sorry, it's a bit of a pile. John Smith and Molly. Mr. John Smith. Gas bill, okay. Mr. J. Smith. That's probably not ours. I got a feeling that's where this story's gonna go. Do not redirect return to sender. Mr. John Smith, private and confidential. Um. Uh, oh, thanks. You messed up, Jack. <laughs> anyway, um, I've really got to run. We're trying to be Can nice. Get yourself a wedgie. Um, oh, his head screwed on properly. I like him. Probably okay. going to turn out like that. Don't worry, Dad. Your daughter's a super genius. Very humble. Um. Right on. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Why don't you and Jack be friends? You don't have any friends. Ouch. That must be harsh. What about Shazia? Yeah, but she's a work friend. You need cooler friends. Friends who jog and this way. have stupid hair. Why do they have to 
Ha <laughs> stupid hair! <laughs> yeah, your definition of cool is slightly different to my mum. <laughs> you were taking oh, that fish there. on a bed of mentals, right? Mentals! <laughs> I'm gonna pick three just because I don't know what that is. You're gonna turn into a chicken dipper one of these days. Oh, yeah, there we go. Then lock me up. Well, that's silly. <laughs> Some of these letters are from social services again. Don't worry. If they send one of those people around again, I'll shoot them with a machine gun, then push them down the rubbish chute. Well, dang. Maybe she's the one with anger issues. All right, let me catch up real quick. Uh, it's the largest city in the U.S. in terms of square footage, but there's hardly any buses or train systems outside of downtown. Really? It's the most pedestrian slash mass transit slash bike unfriendly city in the world. Interesting. You really can't go anywhere in the city without a car. That's fascinating to me, because usually bigger cities, to keep just general traffic down in the first place, especially if it's a high-density population there, um, will try to implement that stuff just, just for the sake of... Like, I can't imagine how busy the streets must be then. I still haven't played Heavy Rain yet. I might still laugh at the kid getting ran over for some reason. <laughs> oh, but Tito, you're evil. Wow. <laughs> that wry British humor. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Cherry Tree School. Right, see you later then, Don't forget dinner. We're totally going to forget dinner. Like I would. Love you too. Gross. Bye, Dad. <laughs> it's pulling a Fallout 4. I'm picking options and that's not what he's saying. What the heck? I'm assuming we're going down this way. I love the art style of this game. It's very nice and clean. Paper dolls. Royal estate agents. Am I going by here? Or do I have to go in here? I'm going by the vape lord. <laughs> That's a great credit there. Pork plus pot. Meat and mare. Train station, I guess. The tray took off. Small world. Morning. Fancy seeing you here. Yep. Working central. Working central. Sorry, mate. What with that? Oh, I was just asking where you work. Yeah, I work. Sorry. Yeah, I, I work by Salt Cellar Lane. Okay. okay. Sorry, I'm being rude. Don't worry. See you around. I'm going to assume there's something going on with him. Please. You bloody idiots! Oh, phone! That's expensive stuff! Are you guys alright? 
the screen smashed. Do you know how expensive these are? Uh, let me yeah, help. Let me, uh, let me help you out. Get away from my stuff, thief. Thief. All right, fine. Give me your arm. You two, you two, you two were made for each other. What? It's, yeah, I have to pick it. Just it. happened. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Oh, gotta go. Uh, sure. Right. I said sure, not right. Okay, so that was weird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm supposed to go, gotcha. What good time do you call this? I got held Sorry, up. Sorry, I um, got held up. Oh, never mind that. I need your advice on something. Okay. Go on. So, I met Darren again last night. You know, the one with the funny ears. The f... Uh, the... No I idea. I actually have no idea who that is. <laughs> anyway... He's not wrong! To his last night, finally! Oh, yeah? Mm. Go well. Mm. Can't complain. So, are you going to that drinks thing on Thursday? What does she didn't finish mean? Hang on. What happened with Darren? Oh, okay. I'm on that later. Please say you'll come out. You're the only one I can talk to. Ah, uh, that dude is. Can't. Gotta look after Molly. Oh, you always use that as an excuse. We're on the road. <laughs> I should probably get off the road. <laughs> Here? I'm going to assume any open doors means I have to go through them. Morning? Or should I say afternoon? It's only just gone nine. <laughs> nine oh two by my watch. Synced to Big Ben. Shaz? Is he serious? <laughs> Careful, sunshine. Don't forget who's in charge around here. Oh, You're our wow. supervisor, not our prison warden. <laughs> Now all I can think about is Shaz in handcuffs. Do you even do any work round here? Wow! You need the pressure I'm under to hit the new targets. The fact I'm keeping it together is a miracle. Same as everyone. Oh, targets. Oh, he's popped up, hasn't he? You better wind your neck in. Don't forget you're on report for all those days off. Yeah, because he was in hospital. Shaz, that's tragic. Come on. He does not look happy. <laughs> oh my god. One of these speed Lee Lily. A Gunderson. A giant donut. Didn't even comment on it. Oh, I can move it. All right, well, we're just going to keep putting it up here. This really... Okay, so this is like... I'm getting Telltale vibes, but I'm also getting like Heavy Rain or um, Detroit Become Human, where you literally have to push a button for every action. <laughs> if I'm just standing there and I'm supposed to be doing something, it's because I'm still not adjusted to that yet. Stamp those letters! Yeah, yep, I stamped them. I don't, he didn't even react to the giant donut picture, so I don't even know if he noticed that. Totally a life simulator here. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> For Pete's sake. Print, you bastard. Hello, welcome to technical support. To help us with your query, in your own words, please describe your problem. 
Can I speak to a human, please? Thanks. Did you say you would like to refer a friend? <laughs> Supervisor. 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 I'll put you through to one of our support team advisors. Hey! There we go. We are currently experiencing a high number of calls. You are number 164 in the queue. <laughs> well. Yep. Yeah, it's real life right there. Right, 5.30. Let's get out of here. No, wait until 5.32. He's standing there. He's standing. He, he has something he wants to do. And... My guy's going to go over the edge, because this is an episode apparently about rage, so... Let's go. John, mate, where do you think you're going? Yep. Home. Um, I'm going home. It's 5pm, I think we're entitled. Didn't you get my email? I marked it as important. You couldn't have missed it. No. Nope. Well, I didn't get your email. Oh, no, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, long story short, there's been a bit of a foul-up. Anyway, I need the Royal Oak Files completed by the start of tomorrow. I think it can keep. Hmm, no can do. The big man upstairs says it's tomorrow or your department is in deep doo-doo. I'll stick around and help you out. Well, it's John's cases. I don't think we should set a precedent of sharing out work. It's fine. It's fine. What about Molly? Oh, get a sitter. You go home. Good lad. All right. Well, if you're sure, I'll see you outside Molly's school tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Shaz. And remember, it's a school night, so don't get up to too much trouble. Ugh. You never sent an email, did you? Shit rolls downhill, mate. a panda working in an office like this. <laughs> I don't know if I could have the patience to work under somebody like that, though. Where he's so... There's people that just embrace what little power they have to the fullest degree and try to make everyone under them feel belittled. It's... It's rather sad, really. I'm assuming there's more to his story, because, you know, I thought there would be something happening on the bus, since this is called Last Stop. I thought I noticed at the stop or in the bus that one of the characters that I could have chosen was already in there, so I'm assuming all three are going to converge at one point. <laughs> this guy's not having a good day, dang. I don't know which apartment was mine. There, okay, good. Oh, come on, embrace your little girl. Ah, uh, looks like chicken dippers. Oh, shit. Chicken dippers. You forgot dinner, didn't you? Ah, uh, I'll fix something. Oh, I'll fix you something. I'll throw some things together. I think there's some jelly in the fridge. Too late to complain. Right. Let's have that then. It's kind of late for you to get back. I've been here since three o'clock. Ah, uh, it can't be helped. It can't be helped, I'm afraid. I've taken too much time off already this year to complain about staying late. The only thing I could do is get you a childminder. Do you really want that? Yes. Walked into that one. You don't need a childminder. And anyway, we can't afford one. Well, I did my homework. Do you want to check it? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, just just let me rest my eyes for five minutes and then I'll sort out food and then I'll take a look at your homework. All right? No, just do it now! 
She's looking at me like, what you doing there, Dad? The, the, the camera's even angled. I have to go to the bed. As somebody who frequently crashes on the couch, this is a terrible idea. Swap bodies? Is that what's happening? Molly, I'm, I'm sorry. I think I overslept again. Wait a minute. Where am I? Oh, first person. Molly? Molly, are you here? What the hell is all this stuff? <laughs> Where the hell am I? What's up with my voice? <laughs> weird. Hey, he's got a slime. I, if memory serves, those are from the Dragon Quest series of games. Um, I'm gonna assume that those are smaller monitors. Maybe he's a streamer. He's got a Gundam statue on here. Or just a generic robot, I guess. Wait. Yeah, okay. The window threw, threw me off there. I guess we probably have to go to the bathroom and look in the mirror so we can... ...see what's happened. but I guess it works. <laughs> oh god, that was amusing. Yeah, the three stories will intertwine. I figured they would intertwine. I'm wondering if they're going to converge onto a single point where all three of them are lined up on the subway. I guess this is, not a bus. Like this. Um, did you notice the old man you ran into at the station? Yeah, I did. And he exhibited the same green glow, so obviously whatever was going on with the door, he created it. Or at least is what had to do with it. Um, definitely intriguing. Alright. Um, domestic affairs or stranger danger? Does anyone have a preference? Think about just jumping into the mess. I'm going to take another sip. One sec. Sorry about that. No preference? Nope. Alright. Mina Hughes, let's meet you. The next station is Flat Square. Next station. Okay, yeah, that's the subway then. I wasn't 100% sure. The candidate. Begin chapter. Alright. Do you value all human life? Yes. Some more than others? Are there circumstances where it's appropriate to deceive a loved one or partner? Uh, can't rule it out. Is possible. And to take the life of a loved one? Is this still hypothetical? There would have to be a bloody good reason. Are you capable of suicide? Stupid question. Been known to. But only after a few drinks. <laughs> Please be cooperative, Miss Hughes. What is your greatest fear? Wasting time! This interview will never end. <laughs> Are you afraid of answering questions? 
Really? Come on. Ask a real one. If you were to be sent on a long trip, how long could you be away from your normal life? Be specific. What do you mean? We mean your life outside of work. Your attachments, your family. Uh, not an issue. However long as needed. Even years? What if the trip was indefinite? Is it? Thank you, Miss Hughes. We appreciate your time. That'll be all for now. Speed dial. You got a spare hour or two? Their faces are missing. I'm coming over. Their faces are missing. Do you know how trippy that is? They're not moving or anything. It's so weird. I mean, I guess that helps belay the point that they're kind of just people in the room. They're not necessarily anyone you have to talk to. So I'm assuming this is supposed to be something equivalent to, like, Secret Service? Mina! M Mina Hughes! Hello? something I was ready for. <laughs> this game knows how to throw curveballs at you. I'll give it that. <laughs> hey, Skip. Welcome on in. Believe it or not, there is no panda command in my stream. <laughs> Thank you, Petito, for shutting us, Skip. Last playing Tunic. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're back home. That means... Don't shout me out, damn it. Too bad. Uh, does that mean you're back now? Like, are you, will you be streaming tomorrow? Like, I know you're, you're home. Um, let me... What else did I miss here? Or the developer just didn't want to bother with backgrounding. Oh, I, I'm, yeah, it's obviously a um, conscious choice. It's just creepy. <laughs> That's all. Like, they, they were unmoving and had no faces. Like, that's probably something that might visit my dreams tonight. So, I'm trying to figure out what to play tomorrow, but yes. Oh, nice. Skip wants to play Mario's Mystery Meat. <laughs> yes, you should play that, Skip. Thought about Saints Row 2. Oh, nice. But my way too closer to your new game for that. Thinking about Witcher 3. Oh, nice. Both good choices. Um, what is the new Saints Row? Is it 4 or 5? Because 4 is the one where you become president and everything's like really, really out there, right? If you want to play... Oh, it's a reboot. Interesting. They're rebooting the entire franchise? Saints Origin Story. Oh, okay. I knew they were making a new Saints game. I didn't realize they were rebooting it. I thought it was another sequel. That's interesting, I guess. Is it going to be... I heard the earlier games were a little more on the serious side than their later sequels. So are they going to steer it in the more comedic direction? Or is there any news on it? Uh, maybe Blue Dragon. I got an older game itch. Oh, I remember you telling me about that. Yeah, those are all really good choices, Skip. You should, you should, you need to let us know as soon as you decide. <laughs> this seems like it's going to be probably some of both. Oh, okay. Interesting. I never played any of them, but I do know how uh, the only word I guess I can come up with is eccentric. The third one is. And then the fourth one is like completely over the top. And the second one I've been told is like comedic, but 
not to the same degree. Like, it's it's still grounded in reality, whereas the third one, you're running around with, like, an octopus gun and, you know, a giant dildo sword and stuff like that. It's really out there. And then the fourth one, you're literally a superhero president fighting, I want to say, aliens? So... <laughs> I guess maybe a little bit more silly. I don't know. The characters don't seem super serious as far as, like, being gang members, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, they're probably... It's weird that they're rebooting it, but we'll see what the, how it goes, I guess. All right, I need to figure out what we're doing. Uh, this is me. So, I'm tired. Wait, how am I reading this? If it's depleted, she's tired, or if it's full, she's tired? Stream of consciousness. Glad to be out of that stuffy interview room at least. I don't have time for this. So I've seen you around it. Oh, I'm choosing. Okay. Plenty of new recruits. Can't they learn the ropes for themselves? You are a level four as well. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't even click anything. It just zoomed in automatically. Name, Amy. Not a name I plan to remember. Surprise at her clearance level. Oh, for heaven's sakes, perhaps I'll be a little late for my appointment with Felix. Gotta keep him keen. Hands, slight tremble, nervousness or excitement. Either way, she's unguarded with her feelings. No wedding ring, smart. Facial analysis. Unguarded smile, doesn't seem fake. Overly keen to make a good impression. Total rookie. Doubt she's seen combat. Okay, so this is definitely some level of government that requires putting her life on the line. Professional interest. Negligible. Dang, that's harsh. Hey, Mina. Uh, please move. Excuse me, I'm quite busy. I I'm Amy, Amy Ung. I'm pretty new here. I can understand why you wouldn't remember me. I don't like any of these responses. Um... Okay, I am going to need to get past at some point. Oh, sorry. You're a big deal around here. I, I thought maybe you could give me some tips. I read your Operation Bloodhound report at Zantest. Yeah, she's going to follow me. Case study there as an example of how to keep a clear head under extreme pressure. Okay. It's since then I've been doing a lot of meditation. I think it helps a lot, you know. Oh, what am I saying? You don't need me to tell you that. Sorry, are we going the same way? Anyway, I've uh, been with the company about 18 months now, just transferred over from the Gibraltar office. H have you been stationed there before? Uh, sorry, that's a stupid question. Uh, there's good work being done over there at the moment, but obviously it's nothing compared to HQ. I'm really lucky Whoa. to have the opportunity to work down here. Hey, maybe we'll end up working together at some point. It would be great to shadow you, to learn from the best. Right. I've heard so much about you. It's an honor to meet the legend in person. Elevator? Are you taking the lift too? Oh, no. It's been lovely to meet you. Bye. There we go. See, we weren't completely rude. I'm a nice panda. I'm trying to be nice to everybody here. Use. See, you've met Amy. I have. Oh, yes. Promising recruit, that one. Really? Have you taken her training wheels off yet? <laughs> She's getting fast tracked. What? Lasted thing. Um. Fast tracked where? The most intelligent people in the world working here, and we can't even get a lift to operate reliably. Come on, sir. Advanced dynamics, your section. Okay. I'm slightly confused with how their level clearances work because she was being interviewed by level threes and she's a level four. So I assume that meant the lower the number, the higher your clearance. But this guy's a level six and seems to be her superior. So is my math wrong or are they just not being consistent with how clearance works? Uh, <laughs> where am I at here? 
Read that already. They are like a multicultural group of Gen Zers. Oh, okay. And I can see them definitely embracing some humor with that. So, yeah, it sounds like they're probably going to go a bit more humorous than the past version of it, I guess. Your enthusiasm for stream moving forward has me excited. Oh, I'm glad. I don't know why. I'm going to be here regardless. I just like that you have a newfound energy for it, like like when people get recharged for things. Yeah, like this was, I mean, there were things that I wanted to do, but um, I don't know. There just didn't seem to be time or there seemed to be other hurdles that I just couldn't seem to clear or, you know, life got in the way, stuff like that. Um, taking the time off definitely, definitely helped. Um and yeah, coming back to streaming definitely had me excited, and I've got a bunch of like new ideas of things I want to do. Um, can't wait to tackle all these games that are coming out, and it's just oh yeah, it's definitely an excited time, and I'm glad that other people are excited with me. So, <laughs> um, so she's my responsibility. So I'm her boss. No. Bloody time. She'll be reporting to me for the time being. I want to oversee her progress directly. Ah, uh, very odd. That's quite unusual. I've decided to include Amy in the selection process, same as you. I hear she performed very well. Let's see who comes out on top. Oh, it's going to be Amy, and Mita's not going to have a good day. This is your stop. Uh. Bye. Dan Hughes. I don't. Oh, Felix. Domestic affairs. Felix was the one that she was talking to. So Dan's. Maybe a brother? The future is in our hands. I'm trying to look around to see Gavin Spider Briggs. Q3D, seizing the future. So robotics. Based on the display there. Oh, the Institute. We're dealing with robotics. Institute interviewer. Oh dear God, are we in the precursor? No, we're in London. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> no follow for origin stories here. BB Boutique. The energy and motivation for streaming comes and goes. It's a weird feeling. Yeah. A lot of what I was dealing with before was some frustration because there were things I wanted to do that I just wasn't able to. Um, and it's kind of cyclical. Like, you, you, when you're not able to do what you want to do, you kind of lose motivation. And when you lose motivation, you kind of aren't inspired to do the things that you were hoping to do in the first place. And things just perpetually keep getting worse and worse. So... <laughs> Taking the time off definitely helped reverse that, though. Buying an Xbox would definitely be something new. <laughs> hey, I would have been plus an Xbox if they weren't trying to sell me crap I didn't need. Like, I, I think I've said this before in the past, but um, I this is the most open to buying an Xbox I've ever been. Um, the system seems to run... I've, I have not heard any horror stories about it. Let's put it that way. Um, there are actually some titles that are only coming out for the Xbox that I actually would play. Like, Crackdown doesn't interest me that much. And some of the other exclusives, the few that existed, at least for the last generation, um, were either broken or just not something I would play. So... Um, and everything else was multi-platform, so that's why I was stuck with PlayStation, right? And then 
generations before that, you know, the 360 had the Red Ring of Death, and, you know, just... Eh. <laughs> so... Holy fuck, Slothy is stream boss. He's alive? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, he swung by... I want to say at the beginning of last stream, he dropped a prime, and then he lurked. <laughs> so he was here for all of, like, a minute. But, um... Yep, he's still kicking around. Slothy lives! London, becoming Android. <laughs> Hopefully that's not what this is going to be. Uh, the new console market is dry as fuck right in Canada. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're basically a step behind the States in terms of availability. Um, PlayStation 5s are still virtually non-existent. Um, Xboxes are very, like, one of the stores I went to had the Series S, which I had no interest in, so I didn't care. I didn't look into that. And then the second one had nothing. And then the third one that I went to, that's where I could have gotten the Series X, um, which I would have left the store with that day, like I said, if they weren't trying to sell me other things. So, um... Hopefully, as they become more available in store, and I've heard the same thing in the states as well. Apparently, they're regularly, readily available in places, in retail outlets and stuff. So uh, we, we'll we'll get there too. Hopefully, uh, I'm sure Outer Worlds two and Avowed interest you. Yes, is a oh right Avowed. I forgot that's probably only going to be an exclusive as well for Xbox. See, Outer Worlds two, I haven't is, isn't really in my head because that's a long way off. Like the trailer, if you want to call it that, that they showed at whatever E three last actually existed, um, was literally them saying that they've made a trailer and some of this stuff might be real and some of it might not be. And the whole thing was quite humorous. I remember that much. But they literally just said, this is the only thing that we can confirm. And they, they showed the title. So they're developing it, but it's not coming out anytime soon. Seems like we're getting close to Series X being readily available here. Yeah, and that's what I hear is happening here as well in Canada. So, or at least in Ontario. Yeah, Outer Worlds is basically, uh, hey, we are making it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know how I got the eye in there. <laughs> I figured it was just a typo, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm glad that they confirmed its existence. Um, I imagine we'll still see it before Elder Scrolls Six. Um, so, yay, I guess. <laughs> and who knows, if I do manage to get an Xbox uh, this year... And watching you or Diversion play Starfield, I might just be enraptured by the game and want to get it myself. So, we'll see what happens. The future is promising. I'm very excited with the potential for what's coming out. Oh, okay. Would Evan S. Voucher be sufficient? Sincerely, Dad. Yes, Dad, that would be most delightful. Dear Mina, in light of your cordial visit later this evening, I've decided to delay my routine eating hours to suit your inappropriate work schedule. Dinner shall be served at 7.30. Your suggestion of eating at 8 is simply not possible. I hope we can both agree that this is suitable. This is a suitable compromise. Sincerely, Dad. Uh, she does not want to go. Um, I guess, since she already doesn't, he doesn't like it, um, uh, you know what, let's go with the half-truth. Hey, Dad, sorry that this is last minute, but can we rearrange me to come over another time? I realized I arranged a while back to go out to dinner with a friend tonight. We're going this way. Oh, we're meeting Felix, okay. 
come for a checkup, have you? Um, let's call them out. Sad in your windows. <laughs> Very good. Can't get enough of my sensitive bedside manner. <laughs> Bit cringe. With all you've got is talk. I'll find someone else. Hey, just having a bit of fun. <laughs> Save it for the bedroom. Fun starts upstairs. Oh, we're getting to the hanky panky. All right. Well, that was brief. Not didn't even say goodbye. Just That's left. What she said. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Um, uh, sorry, I'm missing stuff again. <clears throat> Hopefully Outer Worlds 2 has a larger scope than 1. 1 was good, but it just felt extremely scaled down. More like a proof of concept. Possibly. Honestly, it was slightly more... I mean, it was about on par with what I expected in terms of scope. Um, the thing that kind of disappointed me, and I don't like using that word, but it's the only like, mild word that comes to mind at the moment. But the only thing that really disappointed me about the game was that there was always three clear, distinct options, no matter what the scenario was. You either sided with A, you sided with B, or you compromised with the two. Every time. <laughs> no matter what. I haven't played the DLCs yet, so maybe that was different. But I was hoping for something with, like, the nuance of... New Vegas, and it didn't quite get to that level, sadly. Still enjoyed the game a lot, though. And actually, for anyone wondering, I do plan on going back to that game to play the DLCs. I just haven't yet. <laughs> so, um, yeah, hopefully that'll be sometime soon. There's too many games. There's so many games on the list. Uh, I know the devs got to say anything to sell a product, but they are saying fans are going to be mind-blown referring to some of the gameplay systems in Starfield. I'm excited. Yeah. Well, I mean, especially if Todd Howard was the one saying those things. Just just keep your expectations in check. I've, I've heard of past interviews he's given over other games that kind of oversold what the games he was trying to sell were capable of doing. Like, I remember hearing that Fallout 3 had over 200 endings at his current count at the time. Which is, if anyone's played and beaten Fallout 3, is not even remotely true. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, the Fallout 76 showcase was memed all, you know, memed all over the place. 16 times the details, you know, like, you just, 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 I think his ambition is just a little, um, overblown compared to what is actually reality. I don't know, I, I can't say he's doing it intentionally. I think these are things he wants to do with his games. I just, it just doesn't always come out that way. Um, Moncados? <laughs> Diversion. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> the sexy time. That was brief. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I said that, I had a feeling you were going to call it out. Oh, you're adding quotes. Oh, we're getting to the hanky-panky. All right. <laughs> the best part is, in six months, we'll look back at that quote and not have a clue as to where it came from. It wasn't, it just works, guy. Oh, God, yeah, I forgot about that quote. That was for, what, Fallout 4? Listen, I'm all for Elder Scrolls in Space. It's not Elder Scrolls in Space. If that's what you're expecting, you're going to be disappointed. It's literally supposed to be a space opera, by their words. And Elder Scrolls is not that dramatic, unfortunately. So, I think they've taken far uh, far too much time on this game and are being really careful. They're doing their best not to shit the bed. I have faith. Well, 
I would like to think that you're right. Um, they have said some things that are definitely encouraging, like with the RPG systems. It's a little more in line, apparently, with like what Morrowind has as opposed to what Skyrim had. So that's encouraging. Um, this is supposed to be Todd Howard's baby. Like, this is a concept that has existed in his head, I think he said, for like 20 years. Or something ridiculous like that. Like, this is his baby. So if it comes out like crap, it's all him. <laughs> right? Yar, how are you? Pirate Ghetto. Good evening. I am doing very well, thank you. How are you this evening? Can we get a shout out for Pirate, please? I know they have re-earned your trust at all. They haven't re-earned your trust at all. Yeah, okay. I think that's what you meant. I don't blame you for skepticism. It's not just Bethesda. It's kind of the gaming landscape at large. There are very few games that release that get me excited. In the sense, like, I, there's no way I would ever buy them at launch. I would wait until patches are made, um, potential DLC has been released. I have to look at whether or not they're going to try to turn it into a live service. Because usually that does affect the quality of the game, too, right? Stuff like that. Uh, thank you, Skip. Check out Pirate, who was last playing Retro. Oh, that's so vague. What, 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 ugh. I can't talk. What retro were you uh, living in? What what gaming were you playing? Habit, yeah, okay. I'm good, just chilling a bit more before I pass out for the evening. Nice, very nice. Getting ready for the Monday blues, right? I know I am. <laughs> Alright. Let's leave Felix, I guess. I'm guessing we're going home? We never did get a response from uh, her father. Oh, right. Open doors. I should know better. Okay. Faulkner whiskey. I approve. Oh, we're go. We're going for the whiskey. She's being extremely responsible and literally only putting a mouthful in there. Or two, I guess. Oh. You're right, babe. That was not expected. Okay, so it's her husband. Yeah, tired though. Long day. So she's one of those. Ah, uh, you can say that. One that you can't wait to end. Oh, my babe saving the world again, is she? Does he think I do? Ah, uh, not anymore. The most exciting desk job there is. Anything I can help with? Ah, uh, sure. You could help me take out the recycling. Oh, how about a back rub instead? Sure. Yeah, I'll have one of those. But later. Is Dylan asleep? Oh, she's yeah. got a kid too? I'll help for you. Make sure he's reading and not watching TV. <laughs> I'll say goodnight. I'll go say goodnight. Oh, this this just turned into a heartbreaking story. Uh, where am I at here? Uh, I played Elmo in Grouchland. That is definitely not what I was expecting. <laughs> Elmo in Grouchland has an April Fool speed run. Okay, all right. Hey, apparently those old Sesame Street games are top-notch. I shouldn't be laughing. Of course, if you have an Xbox by then and Game Pass, you don't have to spend any more money to play Starfield unless you decide it's worth purchasing. Yeah. Actually, you got a point there. Chances are I would be getting an Ultimate Pass anyways. So I could just play it for myself. I will be watching you and the version because I'm pretty sure he said he was going to play it too. Um... I'll watch you guys play through it first. At least a little bit. And then if I become enraptured with it, then I'll just have to lurk so I don't have it spoiled for myself. 
Because it's going to be like another seven or eight years before another Bethesda game comes out. So I'm sure New Vegas 2 will come out before Elder Scrolls 6. On Game Boy Color. Yeah, I guess there were... Wait, were there... Yeah, I got, okay. There were Sesame Street games for Game Boy Color. I mean, they were... Nintendo was trying to sell educational games, even for like their Game Boy systems back then, weren't they? So... Huh. And how was it? Did you enjoy it? <laughs> hey, don't laugh at the Game Boy Color. It was a very, very technologically advanced device for its day. <laughs> and we had such gems as um, Mega Man Extreme. So, Ben is not happy about that twist, rightfully so. Yeah, that's heartbreaking. Um, heartbreaking. I can't even talk. That's how heartbroken I am. Especially if there's a kid involved. Like, it's bad enough that you're doing this to your significant other, but you've got a family. Oh, it's pretty bad. You should be laughing. Okay. <laughs> All right, I feel better. Sadly, I only got like seventh or eighth place in the run. Have you played it before? Like, is this something you could have reasonably gotten first in? Because... I'm sure there are speedrun records that exist out there for games that you're like, I didn't even know that game existed, much less had this many people trying to break it. <laughs> Nintendo had educational games on the NES. Don't forget Mario is Missing. Mario is Missing is uh, SNES, actually. No, that's not true, actually. We're both right. It was for both consoles, now that I think about it. Apparently, the NES one was inferior, if my memory's correct, though, to the SNES one. <laughs> I remember I had played, like, an emulated version of the SNES version, expecting it to be, you know, a little more Mario. Like, I know you're Luigi, but I expected it to be, like, a proper Mario game, at least to some degree. I knew it was an educational game, but oh my god. <laughs> I had Game Boy Color, loved it. It wasn't technologically advanced. The GBA, though, that is, that was a sexy time. Yeah, GBA was a pretty good system, too. I'm trying to think of what games I had when I had my GBA. Well, I still have my GBA, but... I had a few different titles, but the ones that I remember that stand out were the... Ruby... And um, a port of Sonic the Hedgehog, like the first, like the first Sonic the Hedgehog. It it didn't run that well. It was not optimized. <laughs> Game Boy had some good stuff. Not much though. That was your first try. Okay, I don't know how many places exist. Like I don't know where seventh and eighth ranks in comparison to how many others have records, but. I, I think that's still worth congratulations. So congrats. <laughs> Golden Sun. Oh, that was GBA, wasn't it? I never owned them, but I forget, I always forget about that franchise. There was, what, two or three installments? Two at least. Has the franchise existed outside of the GBA? Elmo got his blankie, so all is well, I suppose. Well, that's good. You can't make Elmo sad. <laughs> Two in GBA, one on DS. Oh, there was a DS version. Okay. I did not know that. And I didn't play the DA one. DS, DS one, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, I didn't know one existed, so I didn't know anybody that... I had a DS, or have a DSi, and I tried looking for games that appealed to me, and um, I never once came across that. So, all right. Let's go... Talk to the child. Please tell Can me the ch him? Hi. Uh oh. Is everything all right? Why do you yeah, sound sad? Just eating. How's Granddad? What? Oh, yeah, he's fine. I told him about your 200 meter swimming badge. He was very proud. 500 meters, Mum. I got my 200 meter badge ages ago. Why do you always forget this stuff? Uh, I guess we'll call 
supplement. Oh, sorry. You're just getting too fast at getting these badges. It's hard to keep track. Dad said you'll come and watch me do my 750 metres. Please say you'll come this time. You missed the 400 and the 300. Everyone else's mum's come. Um, uh, of course. Of course. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Okay. I know we're stopping a lot. Sorry, guys. I don't know that much about swimming. How many different lengths are there? Because apparently there's 200, 300, 400, 500, and 750. Like, I don't think there's that many, like, foot racing ones, is there? I don't know. I was more of a track panda than a swimming panda, so I don't know these things. Plus, it, I guess maybe it might be different depending on the region, too. I likewise... Hello, Arma. Way to sneak on in here. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, I likewise do not know things exist. It perplexes me constantly. <laughs> Arma, if you want to know a secret, I am constantly and continuously perplexed by everything that happens around me. So, don't worry. You've got company there. <laughs> That was a blue dragon on DS, but it was garbage from what I've... There was a blue dragon on DS, but it was garbage from what I've heard. Maybe I didn't look that hard at the titles when they came out for the DS uh, at the time. Because I didn't know that either. I ended up... Whenever Black and White released, that was because I got a bundle... So my DSi is actually got like the the Zekron emblem on it, like it's his face, I guess, or his body, or whatever. He exists on the outside of um, the casing of the DS, and it, it's it's basically a Pokemon themed, and it came with like a case in the game, like a protective case uh, for the DS. So whenever that came out. That was when I was looking for titles. Actually, I think I've got a few. I don't know where the titles are, actually, now that I think about it. But I had, like, a couple of Sonic games, which were actually kind of fun. Uh, Colors and Rush, I believe. Um, I had Pokemon Black. I'm trying to remember. Maybe a Donkey Kong as well, but I'm not 100% on that. Um... Uh oh, busy mom. Yeah, uh, busy, quote unquote. Uh, what were you playing, Arma? You're last playing World of Warcraft. Very nice. How's the WoW treating you these days? Zekrom is so much cooler than Reshiram. I know, that's why I picked it. <laughs> what the fuck is Zekrok? <laughs> the K is above the M, so I just assumed that you mistyped. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the phone likes making you make mistakes? Okay. Okay, now it's getting late. Time for bed. Oh, come on. Can't I stay up until nine? Dad always lets me stay up a little longer if I'm reading. <sighs> All right. Okay, but I better see this light off when I come back up here at nine. Okay? Junior Intelligence. Ah, I didn't see it. Okay, I know our story isn't done. We haven't talked to the man that glows green. Oh, okay, I guess our story is done. Fine. <laughs> well, I should say done for now. This is only chapter one anyway, so I'm assuming there's going to be more to it. Uh, been doing all right, just really tired lately. How's the new job been treating you? Are you, are you settling in okay? Or, new job or new position? I want to say new job, right? No, it was autocorrect because I tried to do it again. Tried to... Then that's a good question. What is a Zekrok? <laughs> 
Did you maybe mistype it once upon a time and then you're... Because I know that my auto-predict would do that. If I misspelt a word, it would remember that and treat it like that's the way I would always want to spell that word. So in the future, when I was trying to spell said word correctly, it was auto-correcting, I guess, to the incorrect version. And I just had to disable all, um, my uh, word predict because it was just doing it too often. It was so annoying. Jesus, in bed by nine. I can't even imagine. <laughs> New position in this case. It was a promotion. Nice! Congrats. I didn't realize you. it was a promotion. That's awesome. Yeah, it's fine so far. Just super busy all the time. Yeah, that's fair. I remember you were talking about how you were undergoing training and that it was new compared to what you were doing and a lot more work. Um, I must have missed the finer details that you were like you were getting promoted, for example. So that's that's awesome, Arma. I'm glad that worked out for you. I don't think I've ever typed Zekrom in my life. He is a forgotten Pokemon even by me and I like him a lot. <gasps> blasphemy. Okay, so it's not really blasphemous. Zekrom is one of my favorites. I've got many favorites, let's be real, but um, Zekrom's one of my favorites because he's a lightning dragon, and he looks really, really cool. Like, I kind of wish he was in Gen 1, because he's really, really awesome. <laughs> Alright, Stranger Danger! The next station is Sold Lane. But Tito, how many chapters are in this game? Because I have a feeling that every chapter there's going to be like this. You're going to have, like, different characters that you're going to follow this story for. The Handsome Man. A Google search brings up people mistyping Zekrom, so I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I don't know either. Your, your phone just doesn't like you, I guess. Good vibes only. I, I can... Appreciate that. Birds. Oh. Oh, I could go back in the history. Dang it. So I, I could have read more of the father chatting with her daughter. Mina, I think her name was. Camp trails are real. You won't believe the chilling evidence recently on Earth, which reveals a global consortium. Share truth seekers. What's this? Just read it. It's what I was talking about the other day. Seriously? Okay, I opened the link, but immediately closed it when I saw a picture of, of a gorilla wearing aviators and smoking a J. <laughs> oh, it's Bigfoot. <laughs> anyway, that's just an ad for another page. Not important. Uh, where are you? Feeling a bit ill, so I'm staying home. Bullshit. I know that wrestling thing was on at like 4 a.m. this morning. Moy Moise? Moise? Moise. We'll stay with Moise. Uh, I was talking about it in mass. Did you watch it? Hell in a Cell. It was awesome. No. Did Mr. Hughes say anything? Mr. Hughes. Hughes. Is that Dan Hughes? Okay, so I'm guessing we're going to get some connections now. Yeah, he properly kicked off. Did you cover for me? Uh, no. Hanging out round mine. You coming? Hanging out round nine? Mine? I don't, I don't, I don't know what he means. I guess he means his home. Um, might be difficult. I, I don't know. We just met this girl. I have no idea what she's got going on. <laughs> Haven't done my coursework, but should be able to sneak out. Is that it? Do you have any aids? No, I'll go fish. God, I haven't played Go Fish in, like, so long. It's a timeless classic. 
Uh, oh yeah, and I want to play Ocarina of Majora as well. But to play those, I gotta sign up for the more expensive tier of Nintendo Switch Online. Oh yeah, and 64 games aren't available on the lower tier, are they? I think it was seven chapters and you spend about 30 to 40 minutes with each character. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So it's not like we're gonna be done this in two streams, so that's good. Yes, her teacher is the husband in the last story, okay. That's kind of what I figured. Because of hashtag just chatting, Panda will probably spend three to four streams per character. <laughs> <laughs> Only two streams per character. Police. Not gonna lie, was expecting children. But all right. Slipping out without saying goodbye. Ask uh, if that's okay. When I go out, have you done your homework? Maybe. Yeah, basically. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the mom. Can I go out, mum? Of course, pudding. Say hello to Vivek for me. Would it kill you to spend some time with your family for once? I'm wondering if the police officer is like an aunt, because she looks about the same age as uh, my character's mother. Also, Vivek, I have never seen that name outside of The Elder Scrolls. It's spelled with a K and not a C, but that's still really cool. Just had to point that out. Um, oh, I'm already caught up. I apologize. I oh, know, I'm sorry. How about I make dinner tomorrow night? That would be lovely, dear. I'll get the pizzas out of the freezer now then, shall I? <laughs> uh, I guess we're going to tease Emma. What you see in my sister, I don't know, Ash. Oh, oh sisters. Stop with her at this point. Off you go then. Okay, so Let's she's an older sibling. Home, that means the mother looks really young then. Oh, we're we're running. We're running good. Run, run. I don't know why I'm to the ground and I just can't start. Oh no. Is this music gonna be copyrighted? <laughs> Sound effects music, master volume. There is no option to change it, so Oh uh, whatever. Oh god, that does not sound good. The handsome man. No, no, it does not. Her her segment was called Stranger Danger. So, yeah, this this is probably not going to go well. It's a good song. I like it. So is she jogging in her uniform? That's kind of what I'm getting out of this right now. Like, I'm guessing she's trying to meet up with uh, her, I want to say, boyfriend, but... Where am I? I literally don't see my character. Where is she? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess we're crossing the street. Maybe going this way. Stranger danger. Father, that's amazing. I love that. <laughs> and son, but you five pounds, I could hit that car over there with a rock or something. Go on, then. Nah, what if the alarm goes off? Too scared. No, 
I just don't want to upset the neighbors. You don't shit where you eat. Hey, Donna. Hey, you got here quick. Uh, I gotta say. I thought you were working tonight. Who's manning the Codfather? Nah, Dad's had to close down for a few days. Right in the deep fat fryer again. Ew. Barf. Don't say that. We eat there every week. <laughs> Nothing that exciting. Just a dodgy batch of scampi. Gave some people a runny bottom. Well, there goes that Michelin star. Oof. Um, uh, bright side? Cheer up. At least you don't stink of fish grease tonight. Are you both finished? <laughs> I don't think he appreciates our humor. Drop my phone there. Oh, don't do the hanky panky outside. Okay, yeah, there you go. Did you see that guy just then? The one with the pretty lady? No. What guy? I've been looking through my window for a few nights now. Bit creepy. Uh, dirty boy. Internet porn, not enough for you. I <laughs> you bringing home different girls. Boys, too. So? Uh, nice. Lucky fella. That's not the weird part. He brings them home, but I've not seen one of them leave. What are you saying? Well, I've had my suspicions for a while, but I'm now pretty convinced. I think he's building a guerrilla army. Uh, I guess we'll go with legally weird. It's done. It's probably just a weird sex thing. Weird sex thing, I imagine. Oh, yeah. I hadn't considered that. Probably a sex thing, yeah. <laughs> you should play Knock Down Ginger on him. What is that? So, you're telling me that this, this guy is so naive that he actually thought Guerrilla Army. Wow. That's, that's actually precious. Uh, congrats on the promotion. I didn't know about it. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. To go from hearing layoff talk to getting laid off at the other place to now having a secure job and getting promoted, good stuff. Yeah, wow, I didn't realize there was that much layoff speak. So, yeah, I'm definitely glad that you're in a much more secure environment, Arma, for sure. I could go for some fish and chips, though. I haven't had fish and chips in a while. That might be something worth considering soon for me as well. <laughs> um, what is knockdown ginger on him? Uh, prank call. Let's order him a pizza. No way. We've got to be all forensic and stuff. Covert surveillance, like your sister. What's a Bobby? I'm gonna say she's no spy. I don't think Emma would know the meaning of covert. Getting bored. Want to do some gas? Oh, sweet. I'm up for that. I'm guessing because one of the credits was Vape Lord that they're going to be... Okay, Becky. What would you rather do? Be put in prison for 10 years, but when you come out, you get 20 million pounds. Tax-free. Or, get the 20 mil up front, but you die when you're 35. What are you on about? Come on, which one would you take? I wouldn't take either. They both sound shit. No, you have to. Probably take the 20 million up front, live it up on a yacht. But you die when you're 35. Yeah, I know. Like a really horrible slow death. Okay, fine. I'll go to prison then. But it's solitary confinement for the entire time. That's okay. <laughs> and you don't have a bed to sleep on. Just a stone floor with loads of spiders about. You're just adding stuff to make it worse. <laughs> He really is. What are these throwing mechanics? I thought the 
two dotted lines were like the sweet spot, but I kept missing that thing. I'm not going to hit a car. I don't have any choice, do I? I have to go for the car. Oh, nice. No? Oh, it moves! Uh-oh, we, we killed the camera. <laughs> Alright, let's hit the car. Freaky dude's back and he's all alone. Not this again. Uh, deviant, I guess. We should stalk him. No! Wait! <laughs> I don't want to be turned into a human kebab. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I didn't know what. <laughs> Cooked Becky, sex mad Becky, enslaved Becky. What? Always thinking about boys. Of course. Oh, Let's she doesn't deny it. I want his number. When he makes high concept art out of your body parts, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Come on, Codfather. Lively, Codfather. The catch of the day is getting away. <sighs> We're gonna see something that you we know, don't want to see. He's probably meeting with his superiors in the gorilla army. <laughs> Still entertaining the gorilla army theory then? Yeah, I'm coming round to it again. <laughs> Fellows probably just ran out of condoms. Cannibal murderer, but practices save sex. Nice. <laughs> save yourself a walk. You can get condoms in the loo at the plowman's arms. I have no idea how to respond to any of these. Um Oh, okay. Can't deny, he's one handsome man. Almost as pretty as you, hun. Oh, make a boy blush. Ah, <laughs> uh, something's familiar. This says echoes of Biv's other conspiracy theories. Uh, wake up, sheeple. There are crazy things going on in this city. All those three months when he went full flat earther. <laughs> on that occasion, I was just a victim of fake news. I guess we're going this way. Was I supposed to be keeping an eye out for all oh, there he is. Me neither. Handsome guy's heading for that old building. I guess we should run. Because that's not, you know. Doesn't stand out in any way. <laughs> Pin is huffing aerosol cans. <laughs> hey, don't judge my Friday nights. What is this building? Guerrilla army's still not off the table. Building looks big enough to be a fortress. Places are fallen down. Party? Be setting up a rave. We're all about yeah, raves over here. What about all those people he's been disappearing? They're probably all inside having fun. Ask Becky, sure. What do you think, Becky? Shall we take a look? I'm game. You two are mental. What are you gonna do? Just walk through the front door. I think there's another way in. Uh, uh, I guess we go towards that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, am I supposed to be hitting it a lot? Okay. Noisy! That wasn't too bad. 
Okay, at that point, they may as well try out for the Olympics. He threw that way too perfectly. <laughs> hey, are you questioning my skills here, Arma? Come on now. Uh, what did she say, Batito? I'm guessing we're going to climb up the fallen tree. Is that what we're doing? No? Okay. I was supposed to be hitting that one. <laughs> it's locked. Oh, that's, uh, that's that then. One of those top floor windows are open. Uh, advise. We could climb up those boxes. That's not what I expected. I thought we were going to ask for advice. Like, advise me. I didn't think she was going to advise herself. Can I... Oh, boxes. She's talking about this. It's practically a staircase up here. Jeez. I mean, it's seen better days, but this area looks nice. Definitely rave material here. Okay, he's got green eyeballs. Willing to concede at this point, he might not be the head of a guerrilla army. This is crazy. Guy's like an X-Man or something. Holy shit, so we're gonna be rich. You are? Get a video of this. We'll sell it to the tabloids. Imagine the likes. <laughs> Uh, all of these are terrible answers. Okay, I'll take you from over there. Okay, realistically, people would just think there were, like, visual effects or something. Storage full, delete the free space. space you have, really? Uh, I guess we'll get rid of that. That's not enough. <laughs> I do like that. Guess we don't need that. How much space do I need to make? Yeah, we don't need that. Wait. Oh, okay. W. Yeah, this is definitely heavy rain. Lick it! This is mental. Oh, we're still okay. <laughs> right. Wow, he got out here fast. I'm stuck. Guys, help! For a second there, I thought he was going to flip us off. Why? What the hell have you done? What do you mean? He was going to attack Donna. Did you hear the bonk? That was a bit of an overreaction, don't you think? A little appreciation here. I just saved your life. Dude, bollock naked. He's not dead, is he? He's got superpowers. He probably can't be killed. Uh, medical we attention. We got a call for an ambulance. Whoa, hang on there. Let's not make any rash decisions. I'm not getting in trouble for this. This was your dumb idea. Donna, what if your sister finds out about this? Uh, out of what options. Do we have? We need to move him. Let's get him inside, out of sight. 
You tied him up? That should hold him for now. You just said he's got superpowers! Uh, but do the right thing! We have to turn ourselves in. This is getting out of hand. Yes, I yeah. agree. Slow down. Think about it. No one has to get into trouble. You tied him to a chair! Stick to guns! I'm not sure this is a good idea. We'll never get away with it. Wait. We can figure this out. Oh, shit. Our fingerprints must be all over this place. We can't let him go. For the time being, he has to stay here. Uh, D. Uh, act normal. Emma? Where the hell are you? Tell me this instant. Um. Just hanging out at Viv's. Oh. Sorry. Lost track of time. Well, I'm at the Vex right now, and you're nowhere to be seen. Um, but I remember now. Just stay there. I'll be there right away. Donna. Donna, don't you dare hang up on me. Well? <sighs> Tell her how it is. That was Emma. Your sister. Oh, okay. I... Yeah, she thinks I'm at Vivex. She's there now. Emma's at the Codfather. You need to fix this, Donna. She can't come here. We'll go to prison. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Don't worry, Becky. I'll deal with this. Shh. Why are you shitting us, Viv? This oh, is waking up. Stop saying our names. What are you... What's wrong? He's awake. Yeah. Okay, nothing happened. That was weird. Okay, and we're on chapter two. Just like that. <laughs> Alright, well, that was... Not something. <laughs> Damn you, stream elements again? Oh, is it going through internal server errors? What is going on with that? <sighs> but you were using stuff earlier, right, Batito? It was working fine, was it not? Told you these chapters go by fast. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's true. Like, I've only been playing for two hours and I've already done chapter one, so... I was going to equate it as a, like, episode of some of the other games I've played, but not not quite there. I don't know, maybe the other chapters will be... Because that was introductory, right? So... Maybe these other ones will be a bit more... Fle not fleshed out, a bit more... Meaty? It was working earlier, I thought so. I'm assuming that the text, yeah, okay, the text won't still work at least. And actually, it's unfortunate that that's happening, but you did remind me that I have to give out more cookies. Um, do you like it, meaty? <laughs> well, you both pounced on that, didn't you? Um, okay, what do I gotta do? I gotta give Slothy his cookies because he didn't get them last stream. Bam. And I got to give Siren her 10,000 if memory serves. I need to hold on one sec, guys. I just gotta check the tally. Yeah. Okay, Siren let the, uh, she, she won the 10,000, so I gotta give her. More cookies. If I can type. And there we go. Okay. So hopefully at the end of this stream, I'll remember... It, uh, it looks like Slothy's probably going to survive tonight, so... 
I gotta remember to give Slothy his cookies at the end of the stream. And I gotta remember to change the tally for the month of April. Alright. <sighs> They're all kind of intriguing. I don't know which one I want to do. It pops when I hover over them. Is there any particular story anybody's intrigued by right now? Because I don't know which one to pick. I'm leaning towards this just to find out what happens with that poor guy. But what are your thoughts, if any? I'm going to take a sip while I wait. One sec. Okay, there we go. Go with that one over there, all good. Oh, I imagine so. Like, I, this one saddens me. This one is like a Freaky Friday, so I don't know what direction they're going to go with this. This one has me the most intrigued. I'm, it's kind of like a I know what you did last summer kind of vibe, so this is the one, yeah, let's go with this. The next station is Platt Square. Previously on Last Stop. Did you see that guy just then? I keep seeing him bringing home different girls, but I've not seen one of them leave. Let's follow him. I want his number. Holy shit! Get a video of this! <laughs> Leg it! <laughs> Help! We need to move. God. Let's get him inside, out of sight. Where the hell are you? Alright, let's see. Where this goes from here. You realize that we're the dangerous strangers here, right? <laughs> just feel like pointing that out. This guy was just doing his thing. He even helped Donna get out of the barbed wire. Do not enter. Condemned. Unsafe structure. Where are your headphones, Donna? Apparently, I can't go up this sidewalk. We gotta go around the cars. <laughs> that was weird. I don't remember what route I took to get there. So I'm just gonna keep going up. Why are you no longer running? Oh. Right. This is not on. You told Mum you'd text her. You didn't. You said you'd be at the Vex house. You weren't. We were worried about you, Donna. Is everything okay? Just a moment, Ash. I'm not finished. Where the hell were you, Donna? Where are your friends? What prevented you giving us even a courtesy text? Pity myself. Uh, we're going to apologize. I'm really, really sorry. It won't happen again. I had to come out here this late. I have work in the morning. Mum's got enough on her plate. You were out with Vivek again, right? Where is he? Uh, be vague, I guess. He's just hanging out. I wonder how Vivek's dad feels about his son staying out all hours. Why don't I ask him while we're here? I bet he'll appreciate me knocking on his door in the middle of the night. You're kidding. What? Are you serious? Babe, it's pretty late. Perhaps we should all just go home. Oh, perfect. My fiance's taking your side now. I don't know what's happened with you, Donna. You're always in your head. You're never at home. You never help around the house. Okay, I get it. I'm a total screw up. Are you happy now? Let's just talk about this in the morning. Fine. I've done all I can. You two can sort it out amongst yourselves. I know Em can come on a bit strong at times. But she loves you. 
She has your best interests at heart. Uh -huh. I know, Ash. Can we please just drop it, though? You seem a bit anxious. Has something happened? One's rude. Both rude. We're gonna go with sleepy, I guess. Just tired. I'm not your sister. I'm not going to ask where you were. But you can always tell me if you're in trouble. Be blunt about what? Really, I'm fine. Okay. Some of them are so vague they can be interpreted in a couple of different ways. If there's an option for me to just like I love you, sister dear. I just want tell them what's going on, I'm gonna do it, just so you know. We are absolutely in the wrong here, so I just want to be safe and get along. Um, okay. Sounds good. You're sure nothing happened tonight? There's nothing wrong? A hundred percent. Okay. Let's get ourselves home before I get a scolding too. Emma's pretty chill. I like her. Social faux pas? Oh, oh. I'm missing stuff here. Um, Viv, you skiving? Yeah, Viv. Forum room should be interesting tomorrow. You'll have to fill me in on the goss, huh? Gossip, I'm guessing. It's okay, I've got the perfect excuse. Grandma's funeral. You've used that one before. Yeah, but this time it could be from my mom's side. You're sick. What time was this? One o'clock, okay. Uh, Emma's okay, doesn't suspect anything. How's it going over there? Guys, I've tried phone both of you, but you're not picking up. Getting a bit worried. Please text back. Um, I guess we call it the social faux pas. Hope you enjoy this wall of blue from me. That's what you've brought me to. <laughs> yep, that seems like the perfect response. Oh, we're gonna jog again. All right. This music is sounding like much more sinister than it was the last time. Oh, we're not crossing the street. All right. Oh, we're going here. It's probably Becky. Passed by a bunch of students. Where am I going then? Not that way, apparently. This actually was not that far. I thought they were already seeing each other. No, they've been seeing each other for a bit, but now they're actually going out. Bill was such a player. I wonder how long that will last. You're alive. You guys were dead. How can you didn't text me back? We had to go off the grid. I smashed my phone so they couldn't use my GPS. My phone's out of battery. How did it go with your... Question. Could he not have just turned his phone off and not smashed it? <laughs> Would that not have made more sense? Sister. Uh, went well. She's fine. Don't worry. How was it last night? Has he said anything yet? Not a peep. He just sat there staring at us. Pretty weird. I didn't dare sleep. I don't trust Viv's not tying skills. He's hey. clothed. I can't believe how tired I am. Did you bring any food? Maybe I oh, should have. No. 
Sorry, guys. I didn't think. Okay, let's get some supplies. We could do with tying the fella up a bit more securely. Um... Sounds good. I could do with a second breakfast. I'll come with. Hang on, that's bullshit. You just got here. How about you stay and me and Viv go? That's kind of actually what I wanted to do. You both go and bring back some food and some zip ties or something. And that's not an option that I can... Okay, bye. See you when we get back. Come on already. I'm getting hangry. I actually wanted to stay with them and let the other two go, but whatever. Tired. You must be shattered. You and Viv chatting all night. What did you talk about? Oh. You didn't mention anything about me to your sister last night, yeah? No. No, I told you. Emma's fine. Just, it was self-defense, yeah? And he's not dead or anything. So it's not even a crime, really? Yeah, that's not true. Uh, I'll be frank. Frankly, I didn't say anything. It was Viv's idea to tie him up. And if you hadn't got stuck on that fence or whatever, we wouldn't even be in this situation. Life of a Tron. What? Uh, changing the subject. Did you and Vivek talk about what we're going to do about school. Screw school. It's the least of our problems. I wouldn't say Can that. Anything again? Some stuff to tie the guy up with and some sort of weapon. Yeah. Uh, why don't you leave the talking to me? As if I would actually say it like that. <laughs> Probably would. Oh, do we actually have to talk to the guy? Okay, fine. Hi, can I have a Stanley knife, uh, a roll of duct tape, and a bunch of double thick zip ties? <laughs> How old are you? Should you two be in school? It's a teacher training day. Mm, right. Wear your school uniform every day, do you? Uh, let's call his bluff. Listen. We just want this stuff, and we'll leave. If you want to dob us into our school, go ahead. We don't care. Well, maybe a little. I'm just pulling your leg, girls. I did my fair share of skiving when I was your age. Skiving? But oh, okay. I can't see you this knife. You're not old enough. Oh, come on. Sorry. That went well. Oh, it's fine. I nicked all that stuff when we first walked in there, just in case. Oh, my God! It's all thief! Come on, let's not hang about. I'm not exactly thrilled about walking around town with all this murder stationery on us. Don't call it murder stationery. What's wrong with you? Mr. Hughes. What are you two doing here? Really? Why aren't you at school? Uh, what are you doing here? I ask you the same question. Bold. Don't back chat to me. You two are in a lot of trouble. Hang on a second. Oh, for Pete's sake. Family problems. Look, I don't have time for this. Just get back to school and we'll talk about this another time. Too close. You've got crap chat, that's your problem. <laughs> well, it worked. It's off. I got us out of that, didn't I? Yeah, well done. <laughs> Come on, let's just get some food and go back. Do you think it would be weird if I asked Vivek out? I was waiting for that. Uh, what? What? Oh, <laughs> Would it be weird? Um, be coy? I don't know. Might be a bit weird. Up to you. That's what I thought too at first. Guy behind you has no face! Tracks, can't they? And I could use a good roll around. <laughs> <laughs> wow! At least she's blunt with what she wants. You gotta respect that, I guess. What's up? You've gone quiet. There's somebody behind me without a face! Uh, what? Don't be weird. What's going on? Kidnapping. Sorry. I'm just worried about the stranger and stuff. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Ah, uh, crap. Shit. We forgot to get Viv anything to eat. Oh, just don't mention it to him. He's probably forgotten anyway. No. No, he hasn't. 
That was literally the reason why you went out. Get you any food? Just taking you down too. We both forgot. No worries. Probably should head back anyway. I'll get food at home. Moving on. I bought some cable ties in a box cutter. Okay. I guess we can tie them up a bit more securely. Look at this guy. He's just confused. Okay. He's not going anywhere for now. Uh, Let's hope he doesn't have superhuman strength as well. I really need to go. Me too. Need to figure out a good excuse where I've been on the way home. I'll walk with you. Donna, you okay staying here while we're gone? Ah, uh, yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, you go get some sleep. We'll be back as soon as we can. I just need to make an appearance for Dad. Um, I hate how vague some of these responses are. Did One you last say thing. While you were looking after him. Nope. I did try talking to him, but not a word. Hey, hot stranger. We're going now. Please don't eat our friend. Wow. Go already. <laughs> Get out of here already. Bye, Donna. Come on, Viv. Gotta love slowly intertwining stories. Oh, I do like that kind of stuff, yeah. Such a bad idea. Oh, this is stupid. We should have just called the police last night. Probably would have got away with a caution. Maybe an ASBO at most. Don't know what that is. I think that ship sailed now, hasn't it? What do you think? Yeah, uh, figures. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're going to be quiet the whole time? You've scared of me or something. Or is that your tactic? To throw me off guard? Yeah, that's your plan, isn't it? To hope that I'll feel guilty and set you free. I mean... It is kind of your fault. For what it's worth, I am sorry that you're in this situation. It's not ideal for either of us. Is Becky your friend? He speaks! Apparently she doesn't have the stick or pipe or whatever that was anymore. Sorry, I just gotta check. Everyone seems to have kind of disappeared. Is everyone... Oh, okay. I guess they're just lurking. <laughs> just wanna make sure I didn't miss anybody saying goodbye or something. Um... Uh... Becky? So you can speak. And apparently, you know Becky. Is Becky your friend? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, do you know Becky? Of course. Are you sure? Resting bitch face Becky. You sure you're not confusing <laughs> her with someone else? Resting bitch face <laughs> She hit me. She's why I'm with you now. Fair enough. Makes sense. Yep. That's Becky. So, you don't really know her then? Could I stretch my legs a moment? I mean, they're all negatory, so... Oh, you must be joking. I would have asked your friends last night, but they were too deep in their own conversation. Please continue. What were they talking about? My legs are stiff. Screw it. Okay, quit whining. Okay. You can stretch your legs as long as you're more cooperative from now on. I can try. <laughs> I'm gonna tie him. I must be out of my mind. <sighs> Hold still. Is 
Is there, is there more? Oh, it's just the same motion for the other side. That's weird. Okay. Uh, psst. Your turn. Come on, then. Tell me what I want to know. They were very animated with each other. Come on. Yeah? This matters to you, doesn't it? Dad, we had a deal. We had a deal, remember. <laughs> Do you find it difficult opening up to people? What your question? What is this? Therapy? Please. I'm getting enough of that from my sister. Emma? Um, how would you... You mentioned her last night. That is true. Makes sense. Oh, right. The phone call. <sighs> Bit nosy, aren't you? I'm interested. Good one. Huh. You and her would have a lot to talk about. Maybe I should introduce you. Okay. <laughs> Good effort. Nice try. She's a cop, so she's not coming anywhere near this place. I see. Um, I don't know. She's over the top. All I did was forget to send a text message and she explodes. Completely over the top. Sounds like you hate her. It's a strong word. Hate is way too far. We just don't get on. At all. Put it this way. If we weren't related, we wouldn't even know each other. You'd be better on your own. Uh, what's that mean? What are you saying? I think I would like to sit down now. All right. Oh. Sure. Okay. <laughs> that was abrupt. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Of course. Um, elephant in the room. When we saw you last night swimming. Something very bizarre happened. What was that? I enjoyed our talk earlier. Magic? Come on, what was it? Some sort of magic trick. If you promise not to tell anyone, maybe I could show you. Why not? That's good. Let's see it. And she disappears. Come a little closer. Hey. Come on, what are you waiting for? Uh, are you all right, Donna? <laughs> Don't mind Becky. Don't mind her. Just show me what you did last night. Yeah, he's back to not talking. Getting a little weird in here. So now you've gone quiet all of a sudden? Because of Becky? Don't worry, she's not gonna hurt you. Stop pissing around. It's not funny. We're in some real shit here, Donna. Thanks, Becky. Fine, don't believe me then. Is Viv on his way? No, I texted to say he was in shit with his dad. Um, <laughs> uh, can't complain. Oh. I guess that's to be expected. How long are we going to keep this up? Moise is throwing a sick house party tonight. Everyone's going to be there. Uh, it's way for Viv. I really need to head home. Let's talk with Viv when we next see him. Hey, Ash. Where is everybody? Your mum was feeling a bit poorly, so took herself to bed. Emma's out at the moment. Ah, uh, poor mum. Oh. Hope mum's okay. Sorry I'm late. I had to stay after school. Okay, well, I think I'll go straight to bed. I'm shattered. How was school today? Ah, uh, nice one. Yeah, it was alright. Pretty good. I thought if you had to stay late, you must have had detention. I'm not going to go along with it. 
Ah, uh, good student. No, nah, not detention. I just decided to do my homework in the library instead. Where's your school bag, Donna? <sighs> so many questions. What's with the Spanish Inquisition? Hello. Oh, I see you've decided to grace us with your presence. She's been doing her homework at school, apparently. How's mum? Is mum all right? She's fine. By the way, thanks for cooking dinner tonight. We all really enjoyed it. Someone's in a bit of a mood. Uh, perhaps give your sister some space this evening, Donna. I don't like any of these. I was only asking. I've enough to worry about without dealing with you again tonight, Donna. You're late home again. After all the palaver of last night. Uh, I guess we're going to stick with studying. I was revising for my GCSEs with Vivek. I, I thought you said you were doing your homework. It's always Becky and Vivek beginning to think they matter more to you than your own family. I'm oh, sick of this. I'm going out. Where are you going? Oh, none of your damn business! Oh, okay. We're in control again. Vivek, leave a message. Wipe your phone off. Call me back when you get this. I'm on my way over. I guess I'm running on a 2D plane. That was weird. How much time do we got? 11.30. Nice. Depending on when this one wraps up, we might be able to get one more story in before the end of the stream. They change up the camera angles. It's, it makes it feel very dynamic. Um, also makes it difficult to figure out where I'm supposed to go sometimes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, no, not here. Back here. Uh, I'm taking over. It's all right. We can swap. Feel free to go to Moise's party. Seriously? Go to the party. Yeah. Go and have fun. Awesome. Anything happen? Anything interesting happen while I was gone? Nah. You heard from Viv. I wonder if he can make Moise's too. Nope. Don't know. Haven't heard from him in a while. I'll give him a call. Uh, phone okay? Phone working now then. What? I tried calling. I tried calling you earlier. Oh, right. Yeah, I'd switched it off to save battery. Uh, all right. We should probably leave our phones on at all times from now on. Okay, cool. See you later. You seem upset. I'm fine. I'm fine. Is it your sister? Yes. Yes. And that's the last we're going to talk about it. I thought we could continue our conversation from earlier. Uh, all right, I guess of the three, let's go with listen here. Okay. No, it's the same kind let's of thing. Okay. Things straight here. I'm not your mate. We're not going to be friends at the end of this. So you should be careful about pissing me off right now. Unless you want to see the bottom of that pool. I... Calm down. Dang. Good. Good. Donna? This is my knife. You asked me a question yesterday. Why didn't you 
escape. You could have escaped. What are you still doing here? You wanted to see what it is that I can do. Do you still want to see? Yes. Then loosen my restraints. expecting his clothes disappeared Ash what are you doing here I, I had a suspicion you were keeping a secret I was worried about you Oh, Ash. I really wish you hadn't have come. So I followed you down here. Waited outside to see if you... Oh, okay. Come That's why it took her so long to come in. Please. Oh, please don't freak out. I can fix this. I need to get Emma. Ash, wait! Oh my god, someone stop her! Please, Ash! Stop a second. I can explain everything. How much does she see, I wonder? This just keeps keeps getting more and more intriguing. Well, I can definitely understand why you enjoyed this, Petito. Um, now I'm getting Life is Strange vibes for sure. <laughs> this, this game definitely feels... Yeah, exactly. Yes, I do enjoy a narrative-driven game. It's not just a narrative-driven... Like, I always love narratively-driven games, obviously. But... This has, like, a grounded but supernatural feel, just like Life is Strange. Um, I don't know what extent his powers are going to go, but... 11.33. We got time for one more. Alright, we're going to do Domestic Affairs. Because I don't want to start the next stream with the depressing storyline. <laughs> We're going to do the Freaky Friday one at the beginning of the next stream. So let's do this one and we'll end the stream after that. The next station is Cobbett Square. Sorry, John. Previously on Last Stop. Are you right, babe? Yeah. Just had a long day. Plus, I have a feeling this episode Most is going to tell us why Dan was not at school when he should have been. He's getting fast-tracked. And I want to know why. Decided to include Amy in the selection process. Let's see who comes out on top. I'll end your stream after that. Oh, thanks, Skip. I'm glad you're willing to be patient. Unfaithful. Yep, that's her. These are some nice places. Dang. This looks like something I'd expect to see at, like, Miami Beach or something. Hey, Dad. <laughs> How's life inside the military-industrial complex? Blown up any babies with your death robots this week? Um, let's play this game. No, sorry. But hey. Maybe when you overthrow the government, you can have me thrown in the gulag. That might cheer you up. All I see in the news these days is robots. <laughs> robots killing people, robots taking jobs, robots having sex with people. You know, in my day, we'd have balloted if someone tried to give a job to a bloody robot. Strong industrial action is what we need. I guess we'll ask about test results. Did you get your test results back from Dr. Lund. That's another thing that's gone to the dogs. The state of the health service in this country. <laughs> Poor sock 
walk in it. Oh my god. Uh, I'll take a stroll, I guess. Okay. Before you get deep into another one of your rants, do you fancy going for a walk? Nene, you're just trying to shut me up. Well, I won't fall for it. I <laughs> uh, coax him. You can feed the pigeons. Hmm. Well, <laughs> don't bother you. Lead on. <laughs> that did it. Uh, that's not true. You came over the other week. But you come over here every day. Ah, uh, you're welcome. And aren't you lucky to have such a devoted daughter? Um, growing anything new, I guess. Is doing okay? Bastards took it away from me. I don't understand. I don't get it. Didn't you share it in a cooperative? The fascist closed ranks and forced me out. Didn't have the stomach for my radical proposals. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> oh, still. Are we? Yeah, okay. I thought we were going to scare the Here pigeons, go, but. Comrades. Man. Get your beaks around this manky old bread. Mmm, manky. Uh, let's ask Dad, you I've got a question. I call these two Tony and Alistair. Mangy old bear. Uh, tread gently. Was it always... easy being married to Mom? What? I got his attention. Um... I'm not gonna judge. It's fine. I'm sure all marriages have their difficult moments. Where did you get that idea? Our marriage was strong. Your mother shone like gold. You know, she saw the beauty in all things, Nini. No matter how cracked and broken. <laughs> Spending 40 years seeing the world through her eyes was a privilege. Yeah, she put up with us. She was always so patient with us. Do you remember that mobile we made together? <laughs> the one I tore down, it was strong. <laughs> Seabirds of the British Isles. I got it from the RSPB. Oh, your mother loved coming here to feed the birds. You know, everything took a turn for the worse when she left us. He's not wrong. I know, Dad. You had a loving family. <laughs> I don't know why you turned out like you did. Oof. Uh, it's getting warm, it's I guess. Chilly. We should get you back inside. <laughs> had enough of me, I see. Okay, take me home. I uh, imagine you're in a hurry to get back to work. No, I'm done for the day. Good. You'll have time for a couple then. Are we gonna have tea and biscuits? Julia come around here the other day. You know, Julia from the book club. Anyway, she was trying to get me to sponsor her boy to climb some hill in South America. Can you believe the cheek of it? What does climbing a mountain, let alone traveling all the way to Argentina, have to do with charity? They've got it the wrong way around. I'm not paying for someone to have a lavish holiday. Who do they think they are? It's an insult, to be honest. <laughs> and if you want a holiday, you can have a weekend in Wales like the rest of us. <laughs> oh. Don't be shy. I'll have a little more. Keep it coming. A little more. <laughs> the man likes his sugar. <laughs> oh, I'm stirring. Okay. Nini, bags of chocolate biscuits. Oh my god, we are having tea and biscuits. <laughs> and drugs, apparently. What is this? <laughs> is this gonna happen at least once every episode with her? 
<laughs> she goes into like cop mode or something. That always cheaps out on the tea bags. Then again, I'd miss it if he bought something fancier. Any bickies around here? Hang on a sec. What's this? What the hell is going on? Did someone plant these? Am I being set up? Environmental considerations. Exposed building with large windows. Vulnerable to outside surveillance. Slight Sight lines obscured, though. Oh, and we even get Mina's vitals. Concealed packages. Doesn't seem to be hiding anything on person. No hidden merchandise. Safe to assume I found his entire stash. No signs of a wiretap, either. Police haven't gotten to him first. Eye condition. Don't appear bloodshot. Pupils not dilated. No residual signs of intoxication. Seems compos mentis. By dad's standards, at least. Risk the personal reputation. Acceptable. Wow! Um, are these real? Is this what I think it is? Put it away. Walking around in other people's business. Uh, serious. These are drugs. Class A drugs. Oh, stop in such a wet blanket. They're therapeutic. You know, I use them scientifically. Why? I just can't fathom it. You, of all people. Why would you? They're psychedelics. Safer than riding a bus, you know. I, I take them to broaden my mind. Who? Did someone sell you these? Oh, so the stuff shirt is taking an interest, huh? You want some too? Try one of mine if you like. Um, yes. Stop joking around. I'm dead serious. Who sold these to you? Oh, you wouldn't believe the things I've seen, Nini. A bizarre city in the middle of the desert with... Strange beings with, with red and green skin, and a huge flower with glowing walls. Ha <laughs> ha, trippy, huh? Ah, uh, the other's name? His name, Dad. Calls himself Spider. He was very easy to find. I looked him up online at the library. Here, <laughs> I'll write down his phone number. <laughs> Could you imagine? Finding a dealer easily on the library computers? <laughs> Drugs are for losers, Panda. Don't say that. Samir's going to be offended. Can't stop thinking about you. Oh, it's Felix. Um, oh, oh, I can actually read it all. I keep forgetting. So, we're, we're going to pause this little argument we're having with our father for a minute. Did you see that documentary about Thatcher last night? Thought it was pretty good. Didn't see it. You're free tonight? Got plans this evening, but could meet up for lunch if you like. I'm swinging by yours. You better be in. Ooh, dominant. As it happens, I am in. Just got back from work. Was thinking of going to the supermarket to pick up some dinner, but we could eat out if you like. Haven't got time for that. Only got about an hour that I'm gone. Ha, huh, feisty. Is this a booty call then? Yeah, if you like. Ha! So, eat out, eh? <laughs> oh, the innuendo is heavy. Yeah, or could get takeaway or something. Oh, wait, sorry. Totally missed what you were going for there. Oh, Felix. <laughs> Your dirty mind. Well, I can show you some of my quality bedside manner again if you want. Sorry, just, I'm not sure if that last message got sent or not. Not used to this new phone. Sorry, I just got this now. It was on the tube. Be at yours in about 15 minutes. This is yesterday. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Can't stop thinking of last night. Ah, uh, tease, I guess. Because we're evil. Might surprise you later. Um, put it in the bin, I, I need guess. to meet someone. You'll stick those in the bin as soon as I'm gone. Okay? Oh, yes, yes, Chad. Leave me be. Okay, so she's definitely some form of law enforcement. I thought she might have been in some sort of robotics 
but no, definitely not that based on that reaction. Oh, she's going to get caught. Can I help you? Uh, we've not met. Hello. I don't think we've met before. You're Wendy, aren't you? Right. Who's Wendy? Uh, I guess it's we're going okay. to it. You're not in trouble. I'm just a friend of your dad's. I know who you are. Okay. Yeah. Good. Well, going anywhere nice? Nope. Uh, good talk. Okay. Well, I better go. It was lovely to meet you. Sure. I like your wedding ring, by the way. Hey, you. Didn't expect to see you today. We haven't met Wendy yet, right? Our main character for the other one was Donna, and Becky was the friend. I don't remember... John's daughter's too young. I don't remember what her name was. Okay, so th this must be a new... Uh, obviously, this is... His daughter, I'm guessing. So, Felix's daughter. So, I don't think we... Um, I guess we confront him about it. Did you tell your daughter I'm married? Is that a problem? Um, She's been asking questions. She asked about me. I don't keep secrets from her. She's a grown-up girl. Not ideal. This could make things difficult. I guess I could always try and win her over. Take her out for a coffee or something. Do you think she'd go for that? Uh, probably not. Do you know the school uniform she's wearing? Well, that's what confused me, because it's, ex it's the exact same uniform that the, um that Donna and Becky were wearing. So that's why I was like mentally trying to figure out if we had seen her yet. Cause like I knew I'd seen like the same uniform. So, uh, I don't know what to say here. <laughs> no need to sugarcoat it. Anyway, you gonna invite me in? Panky time! Oh, okay. I guess it was over. Whoa. You're Spider, right? We've not met. You've got the wrong number. I'm looking for some gear. Can you help out or not? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god, what if it's Dan? <laughs> that would be a twist. <laughs> Flash the cash. Oh, well, that's a shame. If you're not interested in my money, I'll have to phone that other guy. Oh! Walk to the alley of Cherry Tree Lane in about 30 minutes. It's John slash Jack! He was at the bus! Stop. Um, up arrow. Why? Why is it changing the buttons on me? That's weird. Oh, because I can move. No, I can't. Hey, babe, can you pick up some milk on your way home? Never mind. I went out and got some. What time are you coming home, babe? Sorry, I've been in meetings all day and have had to switch. Have had to have my phone switched off. I'm on my way back though. Have you eaten already? Okay, no worries. I was wondering where you were. Yeah, me and Dylan ate earlier. I've saved you something, though, just in case you haven't eaten yet. Thanks, sorry. There's going to be some late nights this week. A lot of going on at work. I understand. Thanks. Hey, babe, I popped out to pick Dylan up from karate class, just in case you're wondering where I am when you get home. I can't remember if you said, but are you eating at your dad's tonight? Bought enough for you anyways. If you let me know what time, you'll be back. In the next hour or so, we can all eat together. Sorry, yes, that would be lovely. I'm just heading over to Dad's now. It shouldn't be too long, though. If you can hang on, we could eat at around 8-ish. Okay, great. All right, we'll wait for you. Say hello to Samir for me. 
test the water? What? Sometimes I need a little more clarification of what things mean. What are we testing the water on? I know. Damn, I'm really sorry about this, but I've been called into the office last minute. Shouldn't be too long, though. How long are you gonna be? Better to under promise. Ah, uh, we'll be sound optimistic, I guess. Probably not longer than half an hour. Okay. Well, we can wait for you. It would be nice to eat as a family at least once a week. Do you think you can be here before nine? Are you sure? Let's be this. Yeah. Okay, well, if you're sure, I don't want to keep you both starving. Sorry again about this. That's okay. I'll make a snack in the meantime. See you later. Are you a spider? You have no face, so I'm inclined to. Oh, yeah, okay. There's your face. Spider, yeah. Your spider. Yeah, we doing business or what? <sighs> okay. Shut up and pay attention. You've had a good run. You've made a bit of money. But you're done. You're not going to be selling any more of that crap around here. And if I learn otherwise, I'm going to get nasty. <laughs> you what? You heard me. I think I was clear enough. Got some mouth on you. Jog on, love, before I take it to heart. Uh, wrong answer. Oh wrong answer. I'm afraid I'm going to have to hurt you now. Are you serious? Okay, so round two. Well, her vitals are always the same. I guess they never change. Um. Same with her tiredness, hunger, and well-being levels. They're never changing, it seems like. Must have forget a visit to the corner shop on the way home. Can't believe you got me into this, Dad. I could be back at my place in the warm. My God, that's a terrible shirt. <laughs> Who is this guy? Looking forward to kicking seven shades out of this idiot. Quivering grip. Sweaty palms suggest first time holding a blade. Like the blade has low reach, blade is blunt. Weak grip Suggests high probability of disarmament. Um, pigeon legs! Severe muscle deficiency in quadriceps. Risk of powerful lower strike extremely low. Halitosis. Undisciplined approach to oral hygiene. Yellow stains on teeth and lips indicative of nicotine abuse. Suggests a weak-minded opponent. Gotta look at the shirt. Bad posture. Oh, okay. We're looking at his spine. Alignment. Posture. Yeah. Words. Words are hard. Anyways. Has a habit of slouching. His center of balance will be off. Likely caused from lack of anaerobic exercise. Threat level. Pathetic. <laughs> Dang! Ow, ow. Yeah, that's my arm. <sighs> Gavin Briggs, flat 114, Oriel House, the Villas. Very nice. You've done well for yourself. Gavin, I've heard that name before. Where? <laughs> Dang it, I don't recall. I know that name popped up earlier. Um, follow I my instructions. Think it'd be a good idea if you did as you're told. Don't you, Gavin? Yeah. Try harder? You can do better than that. Yes, absolutely. Ah, uh, I'm going to hang on to your license. So make sure you stay out of trouble. You wouldn't want me appearing on your doorstep, would you? You're crazy. Who the hell are you? <laughs> the boogie woman. Ah, <laughs> uh, use his language. I'm just a bird on the phone, Gavin. Chug on. Well, that went well. Oh, I guess.
guess we're supposed to move now. Some tells no me. No woman disrespects Spider. You've got bare bad things coming your way. Should have ran for it, kid. You're so dead. If you don't give my driver driving license back, I'm gonna smash your head out in. Oh, and he corrected himself. Uh, play with him. Should have smashed my head in before I took your license, not afterwards. And I don't know what the rest of that said. All right. Why do I feel like coming straight home was a bad idea? Like he's not going to be shadowing us, is he? Oh, they waited. You're having fun with your extracurricular activities. Uh, what? What? You know, all the extra work you've been doing. You should be getting paid overtime for working so hard, so late. Why do you always have to work late, Mum? Uh, two against them. <laughs> I feel like I'm being ganged up on here. Mum has a really important job. It's like a big competition where the best win. And Mum is the best. You're the best as well. <laughs> Aww. Best cook. Certainly the best cook in this family. Right. Bedtime. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> uh, I'll take him up. Come on, Dylan. I'll tuck you in. Oh, Dad, can't you do it? Listen to your mum. Ah, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Good night, Dylan. The kid complains about his mother not being around, and then when she offers to tuck him in, he's like, no, I want Dad. <laughs> I'm going to have to cancel tonight. Why? What's wrong? It's not right. It doesn't matter. I just can't make it, okay? Okay. So when can I see you? Um. What's she gonna say if I say I can't do this? I'm not sure, Felix. Just give me some time. I assume we're going to be meeting up with Amy again. At Q3D, we're dedicated to making your life easier. Automation, machine learning, blockchain security. You can put your trust in Q3D. Q3D, oh. seizing the future. Hughes, you didn't disappoint. I had a look through your examination results. They're very strong. Excellent. That's great to hear. When do we get started? Not quite yet. I want to give Amy another shot. We're going to do another round of interviews. Just the two of you. Why? <laughs> Sir, with respect, I am the far more qualified candidate. This assignment means a great deal to me. There's a long personal history attached to this. You can understand why I want to be absolutely sure I have the right person. What, what is it about her? I'm not afraid of a little competition. Engage beast mode! <laughs> okay. Bring it on. There she is. that just in time it's midnight awesome all right guys well thank you for hanging out with me tonight 
Always a pleasure. This is definitely an interesting experience. For sure. Um... Yeah. <laughs> the time, it's almost like I planned it. No, I didn't, but... All right, yeah, so I will be back on Tuesday where we will pick up with uh, some more Last Stop. I gotta say, I'm really enjoying this. Petito, thank you for suggesting this. This is very intriguing. I am very curious to see where things go from here. Um... I, I need to know. Guy with wings. Like, are they going, like, the angel route? Is it actually superpowers? I just, I, I have to know. And then Freaky Friday scenarios, I'm just so curious. Um, how are you liking the game so far? Yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it. Definitely can't wait to uh, jump into this some more on Tuesday. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for hanging out here. Lizard, if you're still here, thank you for the resub. Much appreciated. Um, and I hope I see you guys Tuesday night. All right, have a good night. Take care.